Hi ladies, Sherry here from Nonfox Giving Crew. How's it going? I love you. I just wanted to give a couple of shout outs. Um, Tara Rose, of course. I love you, girlfriend. Um, Hip Hop Tarot, you rock girl. And uh, Divine Love Crystal Grid. And Twin Flame 727. I love all of your readings and I'm sending you guys massive love and thank you for your support as well. You guys, you guys rock. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for August the 31st until September the 14th. So I'm going to be doing a slightly more extended reading than I normally do. I'm using, uh, call it Baron Reed. Or wisdom of the Oracle. So I'm going to be reading the message uh, from each card. And if need be, I will... Um, oh, that's kind of interesting. I was pulling from the bottom, I think, the entire time. So I'll pull the top card for the overall energy. Um, anyway, I'll, yeah, I'll use my cards for clarifiers if need be. All right, so... Beginning with, I'm doing a split divine partnership, by the way. All right, so beginning with how the feminine views the relationship. Sorry if you can hear a fan going. It's insanely hot right now. We're, we're in a heat wave. It's crazy. Oh my God, Yen. So the masculine actually got this um, as a future position. So what I felt from the card was that the feminine is surrendering. She's putting control in the masculine's hand. She is allowing the masculine to lead the way. Um, so yin energy is very open, receptive. And so this is how she views the masculine. So um, another <laughs> cute little thing, uh, synchronicity with the yin is, and I mentioned it in the masculine reading, is that um, one of the masculine uh, viewers commented that he was really connecting with the feminine um, reading last week and that he's embracing the feminine within himself. And that's beautiful. There's this balance happening. Um, yeah, okay, so let me read that for you. Okay, so the meaning, the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. So the meaning, this is a time of calculated receptivity. As you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. Relationship message. Let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be su pleasantly surprised. So actions speak louder than words. So the feminine is also in a, like an observer um, kind of point of view. Okay, so what are you resisting, feminine? unfinished symphony so this card has been showing up a lot as well in my readings my personal private readings for the feminine specifically all right so the essential meaning abiding by social rules oh no actually that's the wrong one sorry about that okay unfinished symphony unfinished business an incomplete lesson lack of closure the need to make amends this is a time to tie up loose ends 
as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of lessons or skills before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that you, that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. So because it's in your resisting position, I'm going to read the protection message. When unfinished business casts a shadow over your life, it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. It's not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself be get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and deliver the results. Don't quit before the finish line. Spirit wants you to win. So um, what I'm really feeling with this is that there's still um, some feminines that are feeling like giving up and letting go or controlling the situation. So even though there's a feeling that of disconnect in this relationship, um, she is trying to let it go you know, try to release it um, although you know this is something that's really difficult to let go of but it is necessary okay so message from your higher self happy happy sorry Joy, contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Okay, so even though you feel scattered and pulled in different directions, know that destiny is, is looking out for you. Everything is divinely timed. Okay, so the oracle message. Your desires are effortless right now. Or sorry, your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Oh, wow. And that's kind of what I was feeling with that yin card as well. There's no longing, there's no wanting, there's no you know, the sense of being pulled and drawn and, uh, you know, that unfinished symphony kind of tugging at you. So it's a surrender, release, allowing. Now is a time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside of yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirit. Um, all is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Relationship message. There are moments in relationships when you just feel good about whom you're, you're with and you know that your heart is wide open to befriend, to love, and to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greeniest. Green, greeniest. <laughs> the grass is greenest right where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationship and if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself like bees to honey. So there, it talks about the law of attraction. Um, and, you know, for those who are coming into union, there's this exhilaration and excitement and surrender and happy feels. Um, you know, so really relish in that and feel that and um, spread that joy to others. You know, don't spread negativity around. Uh, because things aren't working out that the way that you want them to um, because that energy does spread very quickly um, you know you don't really realize what your actions have on someone else um, so 
Yes, your the message from your higher self is to be happy. And even if you are in separation, you know, just be grateful that you had that experience with your masculine. Wow, serendipity in the past position. So this was a card for the overall energy for the reading. So number 18. Okay, so opportunity allied with readiness. The awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols and magical alignment of events. So um, I've been having questions about um, numbers. So I use the 1111 um, calling card, like it's uh, seeing 1111 on your clock or you know, on a license plate or on a, you know, an address or on a receipt. Um, that number 1111 is a wake up call. Um, that synchronicity tends to get stronger over time um, to a point where you can't ignore it. It's there in your face. And, you know, I was feeling that energy on the masculine side of the reading as well. It's like, don't ignore the signs and synchronicities. They're hard to ignore them anyway, but um, the, there's a sense of alignment and balance that is occurring between uh, both aspects. So, you know, if you're seeing signs and synchronicities, the masculine as well. Okay, so the meaning. You've stepped into alignment with greater good, where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is a time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now, as higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much relationship message spirit has a plan and the and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time you have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey someone spirit wants to bring into your life only divine forces can plan this meeting it is out of your hands pay attention to the signs spirit uh, presents so what I'm feeling from that is because it's in the past position, the feminine is surrendering, letting go, let be what be, um, let things happen as they should. And so again, it points to that energy of just surrendering, you know, handing over the reins. So your present position is tick tock. Wow. Okay, so timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted, and that's true. Um, time is an illusion. The only reason why we, you know, sense or feel time is because the world revolves around the sun, okay? So it moves from darkness to light, and because of that, our you know we we see time as beginning and ending when really it is a fluid energy there's always the now there's no future there's no past there's only this moment um, so when humans created time everything changed and contracted people have come to look at life in a linear way imagining that the past is behind them and the future is ahead of them but what if that isn't true at all and I was just noticing this is page 112. Um, so almost hit the 11 there because I remember uh, the masculine, I think, got 11 in um, his present moment. Anyway, so it's 11 2. So it's 11 11. All right, so, um, but what if it isn't true at all? What if everything, um, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order? We're happening now in a glorious timelessness. You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations. 
knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them, right on time. Relationship message. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be co coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternally, sorry, its clock eternally and, that okay, its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart and perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. So, again, the feminine surrendering, allowing things to flow to her, um, allowing divine timing to, you know, play out. So, future position, never ending story. Whoa. Self-criticism, wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection, humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born out of unnecessary drama. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, you must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs you to see, be seen as a victim. Love, the lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story, and the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part small and vulnerable and easily soothed. So the relationship message. Sometimes your heart enters into a, co a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other, more complex, <clears throat> sorry, more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges uh, to success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true any, anyway. So again there's this never-ending story unfinished symphony and you know the sense of being pulled and you know pushed and drawn back and forth so the feminine is really trying to find balance and the masculine is picking up on that energy and trying to open up um so that there can be balance sorry about that interruption guys okay so message from the universe regeneration Sorry, they have it, the way they have it, they have it written out, like, 46. So it's a little harder to find the pages I find. <laughs> okay, so the meaning. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever, whatever you may have perceived as a failure or a loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wonderful, wondrous ways. Relationship message. The world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only an illusion. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment you are 
radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is a time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Wow. So this is all about second chances. Um, and so there's, there's a sense of her surrendering. And because of that energy, you know, um, the law of attraction um, is bringing abundance and love into her life. Okay, so her external environment, which usually represents the masculine, is yang. Okay, guys, um, I don't mess with the cards. I don't need to arrange them or, you know, pull the cards and then look at them and then do the reading, that kind of thing. I like to do it spontaneously. I allow uh, spirit just to bring the message to me. And so this is crazy. Yang. So she senses the masculine. And the masculine senses the feminine. So we've got the yin up there and then the yang. So number one. I'm really tempted to put it back in the deck and shuffle to see if it comes up again, but you're just going to have to trust me, okay? All right, so yin, or sorry, yang. The masculine principle of movement, and oh my God. And I just realized that... I named the, well, no, I didn't name it, but I, the, the picture that I chose for the masculine reading was the yin and yang symbol. Wow. Okay. So anyway, um, the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting um, though, sorry, thought into desire and into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Relationship message. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where it is you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good, so go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air, and now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Wow, so the masculine is taking the lead, and there's movement towards the feminine. Okay, so what is the feminine fear? Woo, loyal heart. I, I swear to God, guys, I do not fuck with the cards, okay? But she fears it. It's in her fear position. So she's questioning. Or maybe fearing that it's an illusion. Okay. Fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Um, anyway, the masculine got this in his message from his higher self. Uh, so evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you and will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you, no matter the outer circumstances in your life. Trust and have faith, for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. The message, relationship. Your partnership, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common. Um, honest devotion, faithfulness, and loyal heart are being shown to you. As you are, you loyal in return. Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. So, you are afraid to trust in this connection, the twin flame connection, the mirrors. Um, you know, I, I really see that mirroring in this card for sure. So, uh, trust because you can see in this reading that it, it's all about fate, all about destiny. So trust. So the overall energy for the reading is to be fair. Interesting. The masculine got this and how he views um, the relationship. So this is all about balance. Um, you know, giving as well as receiving. So the feminine is, is trying to find a balance between that never-ending story, that unfinished symphony, as well as, you know, serendipity and destiny um, being in the middle being in the now is what 
um, Spirit is trying to say to you. Okay, so number 38. Balance, justice, a need to consider options. Oops. Um, mutually beneficial, or sorry, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Life offer, offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you're not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment, and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. Yes, and that's what the universe is doing. It adjusts. When you surrender, then it opens that flow to come back to you. Uh, shit, lost my spot there. Okay, uh, so the relationship message. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned, and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. So she's seeking balance um, or is finding balance. You can really see that struggle, but you know, I'm seeing her coming to this surrendered state for sure. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and I'll read that to you for a final message from the universe. Mermaid with a golden dragon. A golden beast did I spy while swimming aimless idling by. What a treasure, what a prize to capture with my eager eyes. A pet to cherish, precious, bright, shining in such honored light. Or sorry, honey eyed delight. Sorry. Oh my god. Fuck you, Mercury retrograde. Shining with such honey eyed light. Good luck, great fortune to adore. I'll guard my gold forevermore. A sweet young mermaid looks over her newfound treasure, a tiny baby dragon. His golden scales emit a radiance of wealth and prosperity as he nestles among the water lilies in the lake. So the meaning, look forward to prosperity. Good news, your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay off. While it is exciting to contemplate your new success, it is important to keep your head, sorry, it is important to keep your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility and if you are not careful with your money, it may soon be gone. Do not give in to temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investments. Instead, remember long-term goals and choose a path that is consistent with what you wish to accomplish in your life. Just the same, it's okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. Um, so really, this is talking about a gift um, being manifested in into her reality. Um, and to honor that gift and protect it, uh, you know, don't take it for granted. Um, yeah. Oop. Okay. So I hope this made sense and I welcome your comments and I'm sending you guys massive love. All right. Peace.